Often when buying a product, you have to make a choice. Do you buy something expensive but high performance, or save your money but sacrifice performance? Well, Princeton Tech says, why not have both performance and low price? With the Access headlamp, they've done just that. My name is Chris, and this is GearCash. The Access headlamp comes in two variants, a rechargeable version or a AAA powered one. We have the latter option as it is a bit cheaper so you get more bang for your buck. And this thing packs a punch. At 250 lumens, this headlamp hits well above its price point, making it a very competitive option. Those 250 lumens are achieved with two LEDs, one spot, and one flood. There are also a pair of red LEDs as well for those late night potty bricks. Aside from being bright, the Axis also is very easy to use. One button press turns on the red LEDs, two presses gives you the spotlight, and a press and hold gives you the flood. All three modes begin at a medium brightness, and adjustments are made by rotating the ring around the button. While adjusting, the headlamp will blink when it has reached its minimum or maximum brightness. While in flood mode, once the maximum brightness of the flood is reached, the spot beam will actually turn on, allowing you to reach a maximum brightness with both lights on. All this power is drawn from three AAA batteries, and the headlamp does include three Duracells in the packaging. As always, swapping out the batteries is going to affect your weight and battery life depending on the batteries you choose. And speaking of battery life, at full brightness, the Axis can run up to 50 hours on a single charge. Saving power in the low flood mode, you're looking at a maximum runtime of 102 hours. With the red LEDs, your maximum runtime will be 15 hours on high and 109 hours on low. These run times are not regulated, so as your batteries fade, so too will your overall brightness. Now assuming fresh batteries, at peak brightness you can't expect a throw distance of 35 meters. This is with both flood and spot beams activated at once. The maximum spot only throw is 32 meters, the maximum flood is 15 meters, and the maximum red LEDs is just over 7 meters. Okay, technical specs aside, how is the actual user experience of the Axis? Well, the included adjustable band is simple yet effective. Nothing groundbreaking here, but why mess with what works? It is comfortable to wear, and with the overall weight of the Axis at just about 3 ounces, there is little mass to weigh you down. Operating the headlamp is simple, the button presses are easy and nice and clicky, while the turn wheel could be a bit smoother, it functions just fine as it is. The headlamp can be tilted up or down in its cradle. Similar to the brightness wheel, the tilting is not the smoothest, yet functions just fine. Overall, the Axis was built with cheaper construction but quality electronics. Take the battery door for example. A simple latch system keeps it closed, and once open, you can really see the quality of the plastic housing for the entire headlamp. There are no rubber seals here, so the IPX4 rating only protects against splashings of water, so like a light rain for example. So to conclude this review, there are many headlamps that perform just as well as the Axis, but with better quality construction, but the price for those headlamps will be much higher. There are also plenty of headlamps at the same price as the Axis, but they do not perform nearly as well. So the Axis gives you a high quality light source in a budget shell, allowing you to enjoy a bright light without blowing your budget. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button, get subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. A special thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me out. And if you have any suggestions for future content, leave those in the comment section below. We'll see you next time.